Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. I hope you are all doing okay. So guys, we're back in our realistic hospital here and this is the one that we spent a lot of time live streaming on and I've um, said it before in a channel update, live streaming at the moment is not the best thing for me. Um, it might come back in the future, I'm not too sure, but I didn't want us to stop building this hospital. So I've done a few things since we last seen this hospital in our live stream. I've come over here to our labs, let's um, click play so you can see some people moving around. I've come over here to our labs and I've just made sure that our kind of office areas are away from our lab areas. It's what we've done in our histology lab over here and we have our little sample section of the lab over here and these windows are trying to signify a lab hatch. So you have some kind of sterile environment or, and a way of passing these samples from this area which is probably not very sterile into this area. So we also might want to get a wall here at some point and really you know, kind of finish that off with a wall and some doors. So this is a sterile area. Here in microbiology we've done something very similar. So we've got like a real separate sterile sample storage area and a separate lab area, lab office area I should say. So you can come in here, do your do your, like your analysis work, do your office work, and then you come into the lab and you have this little this little section at the front of the lab, which is like your gowning area. This is where you put your lab coats on. Obviously, in this case, our technicians here in this hospital don't wear lab coats, so I'll just put in some scrub shelves. And in the hematology lab, I didn't have to do a lot at all. All I've done is I put in a wall here with some doors. So now again, this is like a real separate office area. What I do need to do. Is just remove these benches here with the um, glassware on them because we don't want them and what I'm going to do is let's get in a square table where's my square table there it is we want the kind of burgundy color and we're just going to get a printer in here printer on there lovely jubbly there we go so that's one thing I've done also what I've done is down here is I've got rid of this massive amount of space that we had back here that was just not being used for anything. I've actually popped in like a little small garden. So again, people can just come down here, kind of relax with a friend, you know, who they're visiting in hospital or a family member that they're visiting in hospital. And kind of just chill out down here in this little garden area. Because we've got a lot of space down here that I really don't know what we're going to use. Like this space here and listen here. I'm not really sure what we're going to get here. So post any comments down below, guys, if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see on this floor. Uh, just as the ground floor. That's kind of it for what's changed really. I haven't really done much other than that. So I think the last thing we done is we built out our intensive care unit over here in this building and we were also over here building out our general surgery clinic weren't we? Um, which is great. So what we need to do today is to start thinking about our general surgery hospitalization. We need to get that in and we need to spend some time building some operating rooms, all that kind of jazz. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Right, so for our general surgery hospitalization, I think it's gonna be best if we go upstairs. So let's add a floor, add new floor. No, don't copy anything. Okay, so it's out of the floor everywhere with all of our elevators, which is absolutely fine. So what I think we'll do is I'm tempted. I mean, that's how big our internal medicine department was. And general surgery is normally very busy. So I don't think we'd fit all of our hospitalization in here. So I think it does make sense. Just go over here and we can get a couple more clinics of departments over here. Maybe like orthopedy, maybe cardiology. Again, comment down below if you'd like to see any department come into our hospital first. So I think what we'll do is let's get some... Do I go blue or is that purple? That's purple, isn't it? Is I think I'm going to come up here and I think I'm going to get walls everywhere. So I think I'm going to wall out this as well. So let's do that and we'll go with this purple for the meantime. But obviously we'll change it if we do get in another department. And we don't think that department's colour is purple. So let's do that. And then we'll come over here as well. With our simple white wall. Um, I don't think we'll build over here for the moment. I don't know if that might be autopsy. Or pathology I should say at some point. 
then I think our general surgery will come out over here and again this will be a white wall now what we could do is we could kind of it's not cheating it's it's not cheating but what we could do is we could just take all of this and just move it upstairs I don't I don't really think that's how I want to go about it I think I need to put a little bit of kind of thought into it but what I am going to do is copy this this is our common room with our small staff cafeteria a cleaning closet and a restroom so I am going to copy that so let's copy that like so and we're going to put this I think I'm going to put it in this corner this time like that let's just change the walls to be our nice theme of purple which is our theme for our general surgery and in here we'll get out the purple tiles like so and what we need to do is come into here and get rid of those rooms and then we need to go to general surgery and say that you are a common room we have a restroom in here that is a cleaning closet and this is a corridor which is staff only no all of it please lovely right so that's that done let's also get rid of these decals which are going to be the wrong color we'll get rid of those okay right so that's our kind of staff area done now let's start planning this out. We're going to want some operating theatres and they're normally going to be, you know, in a real hospital, operating theatres are normally away from other things. Um, you know, normally quite private, secluded areas. So I think what we'll do is I think we're going to go for two operating rooms. What are the prefabs like for these operating rooms? Are they good or are they, is it worth building our own? Let's have a look at one. Uh, they're nice actually they're quite realistic you know you've got that kind of separate scrubbing up area which I quite like so what I think I'm gonna do is put one of these here put another one next to it then we're gonna go in we're gonna change our door so that can go away and that one there and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna have this stretcher um can be deleted and we'll put some stretches out into the corridors and we're going to get some restricted double doors to go on the front of those like so and i think what i'm going to do is also put this in another kind of corridor okay i think it'd be really quite private that area so let's do that then again i'll have a restricted double door access like so and then we'll get out a simple floor and then this will be a corridor with staff only area patients must have permission or invitation well they're not going to go in there actually are they they're not going to go in there if there's nothing to go in there for so it's going to get out like a few stretches a bit like that and then if we want anything else in here i don't think we'd want that much at all Maybe we've got some plastic campers for like some really dirty scrubs if you need to get rid of them immediately. Nothing too crazy any wet floor sign. Just keep it that really simple in there and then we'll probably have a window in that area. You probably would not have windows in your operating theatres. Okay, cool. So it looks a little bit bare, but I think that's bare on purpose. So then here we're going to need our walls here else someone might fall down we don't want anyone falling down guys do we? we don't want anyone falling down into the pit of doom so let's get a wall around there right okay that looks good so that's quite a chunk of space actually and i think we're going to get in our doctor's offices and nurse stations actually over here and we're going to have separate dedicated teams just for surgery i think that'd be a really good idea so again let's just have a look at the prefabs and again, if they look good, we'll use them. If they don't, we will start from scratch. Well, that's quite a nice doctor's office. So let's do prefabs for these and maybe we'll build our on-call rooms and nurses stations for our kind of general hospitalization. We can build those from scratch. And a nurses station. These are gonna be just for surgery. Surgery only. I think this little space up here, I'm tempted to get in a restroom just so people can go for a, um, a toilet if they need to. Does that fit perfectly? Nearly. 
nearly guys right so let's get that wall in there that wall can be deleted and then we need that in green I, I do prefer the kind of turquoise green for these stools and then again for the doors let's get rid of those doors and again we'll pop in those kind of more turquoise doors right and then for tiles let's get in those and what wall are we using i think it's like the turquoise tiles at the bottom i think it's that if i am correct and let's extend that out as the restroom lovely jubbly right so now that that's all done what we could actually do is fill this little area in with a few more bits so we could get out like a plastic camper over here let's get out a plant right so that's a little toilet in that corner there now this is quite a nice just area for a corridor we can put a few kind of corridor items in here just to make it not look so bare but um, I'd like to keep that kind of as, as free as possible right so what else do we need right so let's start planning this out we're going to need some diagnostic unit, regular ward and high dependency unit and another on-call room and nurses station. So what I was tempted to do is have this area over here as having a couple of diagnostic units. This is also where we can get in like our sonographer units if we were going to get some and the cardiology unit. So we could do something like that and have a bit of a six by six. So quite a simple layout there. And then regular ward and high dependency unit is tricky. Oh, we also need a lounge. I forgot about the lounge. We might need to get the lounges downstairs. Is that our lounge for, yeah. Okay, we can get the lounge for general surgery downstairs, I think. So then we still need to get in our regular ward and an encore room and a nurse's station so what i was thinking is having our regular ward down here and then we have that like so not sure quite how big that will be then we have our high dependency unit i'll go out to there and there and then in the middle of that is where we have our encore room and nurse's station because they would need really good visibility of these, you know, really dependent patients in here. So let's, I think we'll do this room first. So if we do our usual thing of making a pod and seeing how big a pod is. So we need a wall. Let's just go white for the moment. Right. And then we need a hospital bed. Should we go modern? I think we should go modern here. Then we'll go with an advanced life monitor, a bed socket, a bedside table, I needed the federator, but we can get that in other areas. And then would you have visitors in here? I'm not sure if you'd be allowed visitors in high dependency. I, I can't see why not. Let's do it. But feel free to correct me down below in the comments if it is not realistic to have visitors for a high dependent patient. So that's kind of like a little pod. I think I want to bring that out a little bit more. I'll see a bit cramped. There we go. And then we have a door on the front, which will probably be glass. Again, just to aid in that visibility. And either side will go for like a glass, a glass wall. And then inside here, we'll get a defibrillator for every room, an oxygen tank, underneath the defibrillator, a privacy screen just in case they do want to do something that's not very uh what's the word not very i guess i want to do something a little bit more probing i don't know if that's the right word to use probing it doesn't seem like it maybe like a stainless stainless steel cabinet there with a few bits and bobs okay so if we were to copy that how many of these can we fit in three four would be is that a small corridor if we go for four? Hmm. Where would it come out to? We'd have a corridor of one, two, three, four, five. 
it's still a fairly large corridor. So if we've done that, then if we start to build out our on-call room and nurses station, I think that's the best way. So if we were to have a gap of one, two, three, and then we started here, and we went for a five, can we get in like a seven by five? We could do an eight by five, and then have a gap of three, and then again having like an eight by five. Maybe we go seven by five there, and then you've got another little corridor there. Okay, so then if you were to go and copy this and spin that around, have a gap of one, two, three. That would be your high dependency unit. That's not given us a lot of room for our regular ward. So, how could we fix that? Um, although I do quite like that layout, then here, a pod in the regular ward, if we do this just so we know how much space again we have to deal with. Let's do that. I think we could comfortably get these on either side, can we? Very comfortably. Then you get in your little privacy screen. Oh, that needs to be moved over. Like so. And then you get in your chair. And we'll go for a different coffee table, maybe that one. So that is a pod in the regular ward. And um, that'll probably go to there. So you could get quite a few of these actually. Oh uh, yeah, it kind of needs to be back one and then you can get them either side. That's just not giving you a lot of room between the beds. So that's going to give us a capacity of about eight, maybe nine if we fill in that area as well. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough for general surgery. I'm not too sure. Should we, I think if we start off, we'll start off with having capacity for around nine in our regular ward, and then we'll see how it goes, I think. And we'll kind of just make sure that it works. And if it doesn't work, then we can change it up. But I think, I think that will work. And we'll put that there. Then our privacy screen would go there, wouldn't it? So it's only a corridor of one. Okay. So if we were to move this up again. Let's move that up. And we were to delete this wall here. And we can actually just delete just delete all of that. That's probably the easiest way. And then again, we'll try and copy this here. So if we do that, then we'll copy in the privacy screen as well. I think that's good. It's a little bit cramped in there. It's a little bit cramped, but I'm sure it will be fine. And that'll come down like that. And then you have your ward door. And then you'll put in like a few sofas and stuff in there. I think we'll start off with that and then we can always like go into this space if we need to or this space and um, we can do that fairly easily so what are these people moaning about they're moaning that it isn't roomed so that needs to go like that that needs to be a regular ward and here we're going to go for the walls what should we go for let's go for that let's go for something a little bit different let's make sure that goes down to every one like that and there Beautiful, beautiful, right. And then our floor is going to be maybe like a purple linoleum there with maybe white on either side. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Right, so now we need to fill this in. So we need a defibrillator. Let's also get a sofa with a TV. Um, can I get in a TV? Oh yeah, TV. So let's go for that on a cabinet. Like so, we'll get in the bookshelf in the corner there. And we'll also go for maybe another bookshelf and maybe another sofa with maybe a plant in the corner. Let's go for that plant there. 
and I'll go for like a notice board and then around we'll go for, we go, I don't know if posters, posters don't really make sense to me not here, we'll definitely go for a window at the end there I think that's pretty good um, do we need anything else in here? I don't think we do, maybe like a stainless steel cabinet there underneath the defibrillator and we might be, it might be worth getting in a stretcher getting a stretcher there just in case we need it, okay that's going to be our regular ward. Our high dependency ward, I don't think we'll have a wall here. Uh, I don't think we'll go for a wall. I think we'll just leave that blank. Then here, it's probably worth us uh, saying that that's going to be re um, high dependency unit. And then we can get these to come out one more in that direction. Lovely, right. And then walls over here will go for maybe top and bottom stripes. Beautiful. Feel free to comment on what you think, guys. I'm always open to suggestions. So we've got quite a lot of capacity in high dependency unit. Not sure what you think about that. Um, but let me know. Let me, let me know what you think. Right, floors. Let's go for... Well, I don't know. Maybe the light, oh, I don't know. Um, what should we go for? Maybe the light colored tile in these rooms. And then out here we could go for like a wood floor. I'm not too sure. Let's get in the stuff and we'll see how it looks. I'm not sure that will look right. So how do we want this to look? We need this to kind of look fairly realistic. Also, we don't have things like counters in the game. I don't. Can we use can we use those counters up here for general surgery? This is an experiment guys, this is an experiment. I don't know if we can. I just want the standard counter please. Can I not just get the stand I thought there was like a oh there we go, pharmacy desk. Um a block another object. How true that can't block that. Right, if we've done that like there. And can we get PCs? Oh, that's probably better for the nurse's station actually, isn't it? So can we swap those around and we'd have the nurse's station there and the doctor's on call room back there. And I don't I, like I really don't know if this is gonna work or not. I really don't know. We'll just have to just have to see. Right, nurses station. So we'll also need a meal tray. So I thought what we could do is maybe go for a wall like on the back with some tall glass walls. A bit like that. And then we can get some things up against there like the meal trays. We'll also get some mobile equipment cabinets. And then in the middle, we could get a couple of desks, maybe like that, with some more capacity if we need more nurses, with some more PCs. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this, guys. I don't know. I'm, I'm just I'm trying to be realistic. That's all. I'm, I'm trying just to be a bit more realistic with it. We'll get a printer there and a paper holder. On that one so we're going into the corner I can't twist it uh, and maybe like a card file in there I quite like that but we'll just have to see if it works or not I think it should so if we went for so we're gonna want nurses here that are very good at um, clinical specialisms so if we say that we want to look for those and then we could look for I mean you're pretty good but you are just late into work let's refresh because we've got lots of money and we'll see the hidden perks. Right, so we could go for someone like Jessica Smith looks pretty good. She's not too bad at all. We could also go for let's again just do that. Who else have we got? Dana Hall's not bad. She's a germ germaphobe, but again, it's not too bad. And I think what we'll do is we'll have those on patient transfers. I think that makes sense. And then we'll get some nurses in here that are more for care so let's refresh 
I like Linda Jones, looks pretty good. Who else have we got here? Hmm, let's refresh again. I want some good nurses, guys. I want some good, good nurses. Let's go for Susan. Um, and then these are going to be more focused on patient care. I think we'll just do the same for the night shift. So Richard Brown's pretty good. So let's get Richard Brown in there for patient care. And we'll go for health of patient care. Let's refresh. 17%, that's not bad. You're late to work, Nancy, but that's not too bad at all. Okay, and then we're gonna need some people to do some more transfers. It doesn't really matter if they have the clinical nurse specialist, I don't think if they're just doing transfers. So let's see who we've got here. We're getting someone like Elizabeth. She likes her food. I don't think that's I don't think that's a bad thing. Because I know how you feel, Elizabeth. I know how you feel. Um, right, okay, so let's refresh again. Oh, yeah, you're pretty good. You've got medical surgery, so it means you're expensive, but it doesn't really matter. I'm actually gonna, you've got medical surgery, but I can tell you all you can do is cart people around because we're such a lovely manager. Let's have a look and see if they sit down. And, yeah, I think that will work. That's really nice because I think that will work as like a more of like a, you know, like in a real hospital, you get like that, that reception area with the nurses. So I think that's a lot better actually. And then here for our doctor's office, I think it doesn't really matter how we do this. And I think this would normally be in an enclosed room. So what wall did we use? So is that one around? And actually inside we'll give like a wood panelling. I think it's more common, especially in the UK, for doctors to have like a more enclosed room, whereas nurses tend to be a bit more in the open because they're you know walking around a lot more. So I think let's try that. And again, feel free to tell me that I'm completely wrong. But this is my experience of hospitals in the UK. I've only been to a hospital in the UK. This is my experience. Right, let's get out a few desks in there. I think three will be plenty, because these are, these are not going to be doctors that are going to do surgery. They are only going to be um, kind of doing, you know, kind of critical care and high dependency unit and our regular ward. Small card files, be quite basic, I think, in here. We'll get a sofa. Um, and then we'll just go for some printers and then the paper holder in the middle. We'll get a nice plant out. Well, let's go for that one. Get a plastic camper just in case you want to get rid of your scrubs. Uh, okay, lovely. Okay, so I think that's good. So that's our. Uh, we need to do it in good doctors, don't we? <laughs> right, so let's go here. So again, we're kind of going to want doctors that are good at more of the diagnosis. So let's do that. So Richard's good at night. So let's get enriched at night. There you are, Richard. In the day, we'll go for... William's pretty good. I don't know how many we're going to want, necessarily. Kate's pretty good. Um, let's go for Jane. I think that's enough. Two in a day, two at night, I think is enough. Because we're going to be getting all of our surgeons and anaesthetologists over here, aren't we? So I think that's perfect for that. Let's just get in our janitors before I forget, because I will forget to do that. So let's go for, we're going to want basically anyone that doesn't move slow. You're all alcoholics, which isn't particularly great. I know. Uh, let's get in Barbara. Jennifer hasn't got any perks, which is probably good. Um, we'll get in Jane at the night, and in the day we'll go for Sarah. There we go. So they are going to be our janitors. Right, our surgical team. So we're going to want, we've got two operating theatres. So we kind of want enough staff to be able to do two surgeries at once for the day and the night. So we're going to want two anaesthetologists for the day and night. We're going to maybe need more desks as well. Let's go for Daniel and let's go for margaret are you better at it doesn't really matter so let's swap you around a bit like that and then assign you to there because you are better in a day don't you margaret yeah and you're only going to do anesthetology at surgery okay so that's enough for one so we're going to want that again so I think we are going to need some more desks and stuff. Let's go for Carol 
add William. No, not William. Um, Joseph. Oh my god, what have I pressed there? Okay. And then again, you are just going to do anesthetology. Right, now we're going to need people that just assist at surgery. So I think we'll make sure that they are surgeons. We've got the money. Uh, we haven't got to worry about money at all. So let's make sure they are good at surgery anyway. And we could go for, let's refresh that. Joseph surgery uh, we're getting Jennifer and you're just going to assist at surgery and again let's go for who have we got here we're getting Barbara at night Barbara can come in at night she's got clean feet and she's more efficient in the evening which is absolutely lovely and then here let's go for Linda's pretty good again so and those are just going to assist at surgery. There we go. And then we've actually got the perfect amount of desks. Because I think you just need one surgeon. Yes, yeah, staff in a day, one surgeon. So let's get in some surgeons. Right, so let's go for... We're going to want good surgeons as well. Let's go for Johnny Slayton to work. But that's fine. Excuse me. Let's go for Susan Slayton to work. But that's fine. Keep pressing the buttons in the wrong order. Jane's pretty good. And who else have we got here? Let's go for let's go for David. Okay. And these guys are just going to do surgery. They are not going to assist or do any type of diagnostics. And what we need to do is come over here and just make sure that these guys are just going to do diagnostics. They are not going to assist at surgery. Beautiful means we will have loads of staff available. Right, nurses. So basically we're going to need, we need two, do you need two nurses or three nurses? You need two, don't you? Surgery nurses, two. So we're going to need four in a day, four at night. Right. Surgery nurse. And we're going to go for Margaret. And she's just going to do nurse surgery we'll also get some more for patient transfers i don't know if you need any nurses doing patient transfers but we'll get we'll get one in a day one at night anyway dana who else have we got here let's go for let's refresh go for mary so this is nearly one team um and we'll go for barbara right so that's going to be um, is that right? So we've got two. Oh yes, that's for one operating theatre. We need the same for another operating theatre. I'm getting a bit confuddled. Let's go for um, none of you. You're pretty good, Paul. Let's get Paul in the night. There you go, Paul. We're just going to do nurse surgery. Let's also go for. Well, Dana's pretty good at night. No, you need to go to the night shift and you need to just do nurse surgery. Who else have we got here? Let's go for James, he's pretty good. And last but not least, we'll go for Michael. Right, so you need to just do patient, I'm oh, sorry, nurse surgery. And we'll get a couple of nurses over here that can just do a bit of um, carting around of people. So maybe... Who should we go for? No, you're crap. Charles. So you're just going to do patient transfers. I'll just get one person in the night. I don't think we need many people doing this. I don't know if we need anyone at all, actually. So let's get in Dana as well. And again, Dana's just going to do patient transfers. Right, now I think that's all set up correctly. Those just assist. Yeah, lovely. They're all our surgery nurses. Beautiful. Okay, right, so I think that's perfect. So that's our basic general surgery department open for business. Right, let's get a floor in here. And I think we'll wait and do the diagnostic. Oh, we need a diagnostic unit actually. We can do that in this episode. But things like the um, cardiology unit and sonography, unit, I think we'll probably wait for next episode. I feel like I've been recording for a while. Not in a bad way, in a good way. So let's do that. 
get that floor. No, I don't want to do that. That there. That comes up. That goes like that. Beautiful to there. We'll cover all of that as well. And then we'll just get that going there. How does that look? Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's get some windows. Um, is that the right way round? Yep. Yeah. And we'll also get some windows in the nurse's station. Like that. And then we just need to fix that wall there. Which is the green. I believe it's that one. Yay! Right. And then we can also get some windows out there. We'll get one in the doctors on Koru. And then we've got one there in a regular as well. Let's go for a window there. Beautiful. Right, guys. So there we go. So we need a diagnostic unit, don't we? Now, again, what are the prefabs like for these? Diagnostic unit six by six. That is what I've marked out the room as anyway. So let's get in a couple of those. And we'll get in our purple wall there. Lovely. And in the next episode, we'll get in our sonography units and our cardiology units. There we go, guys. We've got in our general surgery hospitalization. So I'm really happy we've managed to get that in. What we're going to do is we're going to cut to see if we have a few patients downstairs in our general surgery clinic. And we'll see if any need to be brought up here to general surgery hospitalization. So we have had someone come up to our high dependency units. Let's have a look at this chap here. We've got Casey Harris, who's suffering from primary peritonitis, which is an infection of the peritoneum, a membrane covering the inner abdominal wall and organs within the abdominal cavity. So he actually needs abdominal surgery. OK, so I assume he'll be scheduled for that fairly soon. We've got lots of people up here not really doing much at all. So I assume, yep, they're getting him prepped for surgery right now. So let's go and see that happen. Let's speed up time a little bit. And I assume that's working well. These are the nurses that are on patient transfer, so it means they're not going to be there all the time because they're going to be kind of like carting, carting people around. So we'll kind of have to see what happens then if that makes sense that they are um, those nurses. But look at this, look. I'm so happy with how this has turned out in the end. Well, let's get some windows here. Let's get some windows looking out to our little garden area. I think that's right, I think they're in the right places. Okay, and then this chap is going to be having his abdominal surgery, which I assume is not going to tickle. I assume he'll be um, recuperating for a number of weeks after this surgery. Look how cool that looks. I really like these prefabs as well. Blood every oh look, bloody, bloody blood everywhere, look. Um, awesome. Anyway, guys, I'm this episode here for today. Please let me know all your suggestions, feedback, any comments down below, and I'll see you in our next episode. So again, please feel free to let me know what you'd like to see us build in the next episode. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you thought it was a realistic build. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day, see you later.